Exodus 25 verse 21. Yes. Place the cover on top of the ark and put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law that I will give you. 22. Give us on the screen please. There above the cover between the two cherubim that are over the ark of the covenant law. I will meet with you and give you all my commands for the Israelites. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive your word. I receive your word. Bless it. Bless it. In the name of Jesus. He says, I will meet you there. I want to talk about meeting God through prayer. I will meet you there. Prayer, it is to meet God. Somebody say amen. amen. Prayer, it is to meet and talk with God. It is a direct line with God. Some other people, they have never experienced to meet God. And it is where we are called to. If you have never met God in prayer, it means you don't know God. Say amen. He says I will meet you there. God wants to meet us. So that we share things with him. It is a very important relationship that you must build. To meet God. To train yourself as a person who normally have meetings with God. When we talk of prayer, prayer goes a deeper way. There are people called prayer warriors. But those people they are the soldiers in prayer. But when you meet God, you are not a soldier, Jail. But you are talking with God. Say amen. amen. So when Moses was speaking with God, he was not a soldier. He had a soldier by the name Joshua. Caleb was one of those people in those days. Those were soldiers. According to our language of our times, we would say they were the prayer warriors. When the children of Israel were going to the promised land, they were attacked by Amalekites. The Bible says, Moses had to say to these people Joshua go and fight but me I will go to the mountain as you fight I will lift my hands to the mountain say amen, amen. say amen. amen it means in the move of God, you need to be a soldier, a prayer warrior sign so that you will fight anything that hinders your journey. You are a soldier to fight to drive away, to push away, whosoever is against 
future. But when Moses was called, God said there, Come, I want to meet you. So powerful people are people who have got time first to meet God before they go and drive away the enemies. That is why we have got people who are praying satanic prayers. They don't have time to meet God first. So when you meet God, in that stage, you talk more of the journey God is sending you to. About your calling, about your future, about your house, about your children. So he will speak to you there. He says, come, I want to meet you. We, we, you discuss there. So why Moses was able to come out of Egypt leading the people he had time first to stay with God to discuss with God to meet God before he met the enemies many people are facing battles and as a result they lose because they have never met God first so it's so important in your Christian life to have time where you meet with God. You don't rebuke there. You don't bind there. You talk with God. You don't rebuke there. There is no demon there. So every time you go to God, there is no demon. But demons, when do they come to you? The moment you go to your destiny, when you achieve things, you meet demons. But when you go to the Lord, there is no demon there. So you don't bind in the presence of God. You talk with God. He speaks to you. You speak with him. He pours his heart. As you pour your heart. It's like a father speaking with a son. Is like sharing views, speaking experiences. There is no rebuke there. There is no stranger there. It's you and your father. It's the presence of God. It's the most important time in your life to be in the presence of God. So the presence of God is what is very, very in need, needed or is what you need. We need the presence of God. More than the blessing. That is why David says, I was glad when someone says, let us go to the house of God. He says, my feet stand still. Why? In the presence, you relax. You enjoy. You don't panic. That is why Moses had to stay in the presence for 40 days. Why? He enjoyed the presence. And the church must be trained to know the presence of God. Why? In the presence of God. There is fullness of joy. When things have striked you, you don't need a person. You need the person. You don't need a breakthrough. You need the person. When you are wounded, you need the person. 
When you are disappointed, you need the present. You are looking someone who will usher you into the present. In the presence, there is joy, there is peace, there is hope, there is all that you need. Some of things there are not touchable, but they touch your spirit. In the presence, they don't—they are not touchable, but your spirit can touch them. That is why when you come from the present, you are unstoppable. You know what God is saying. You know what God has said. Why people are defeated. They have missed time. Of being in the present. They don't have time. To go to the present. And the devil knows. That is why he keeps you busy. Every morning. You run out. Every time you come back tired. You don't pray. Because he knows. That if he can switch that time for you not to be in the presence. He, he has got your life. He knows what your spirit needs. It's the presence of God. That is why Jesus had to come. Yes, why he ushers us to the present. Why yes, he takes us to the present. And you need the present. Some of you now they need the present. They came here very weak. They don't know the end of their future. Some are here. They need my hand. But there is something better. The presence of the Lord. That is why we have got people who rely on the anointing more than the presence. It has made believers not to know their God. The failure of not going to the presence. It has made people to, not to see the presence. Many people in the body of Christ don't know the presence of God. Somebody else goes to the presence for them. That is why many people are going to be defeated. But I declare from today, when you are from the presence, you will come in power. You will come in power. The presence of God, it is where you meet God. Why must you meet God? He is your father. You have to see your father. You are not a stranger to God. You must see your father. Talk to your father. Know your father. Create a bond with your father. Discuss with your father. Have a place where you meet with your father. Call your father. Meet your father. You have to meet him. He is your father. He is concerned about you. You are a child of God. I used to have Nelly in my house. My children will bond with them. But when I come, 
and figure. I need my children. I don't want my children to know nearly more than me. And but I want to teach my children. Even if the Nelly is so good. But I watch his teaching. Are they aligned with my teaching? I rebuke my children. Snatching them out of the teaching of the Nelly. I take them away and bond with my children. I want them to know me more than Nelly. Why? Why? Because I will walk a long journey with my children. Nelly is here two days, tomorrow is not there. That is why many of you they don't have a bond with their father. And this father, you're gonna walk with him in your eternity. That is why you must know him now. I declare, I decree, I align you into the ways of your father in the name of Jesus. You must know your father. You are a child of God. You are born there. Know his voice. Know his ways. Know his life. The devil must not know God more than you. No God He is your father He is your father Know him Born with him And when you know him When the devil comes When he lies in your ears Trying to talk wrong about your father You know You can rebuke the devil That is why Jesus had to win the devil When he was tempted Taken to the wilderness The Bible says he was tempted there. He said it is written. What? Why? He knew his father. He had time to leave people, to leave demons, and go outside and meet with the father. He had time to kneel down and discuss with the father. The whole night talking with the father. Talking with the father. The whole night not rebuking demons. Talking with the father. Early in the morning he comes down knowing what the father has said. And he comes and says I am in the father. And the father is in me. Why? He knew his father. He knew his father. So you must know your father. More than witches. Know that he is not cruel. Don't hear people. Learn to understand your father more than situation. He says, I want to meet you there. There in the ark. There in the altar. I want to meet you there. Where you are staying. Have a place. Where you meet God. Talking with God. 
kneeling down. Kukle pasi. You don't fire there. Apo au kalimela kukle ilo. You talk with God. Kutu ngogola no mzali. Your father. Utata wako. And at that time is quiet. Genotesha kuzoli. All people are sleeping. Na matu mwke balele. You are talking with the father. Ngogola no mzali. The whole house. Iku yon. Is surrounded by angels. Yei ingongos is to you. Why? The father has come from heaven to you. They all came the heavens down. Ah, is attending the meeting. Lizo Mamelum Shanga. Kabada Saya. Is going to happen in Christ the Rock, in sons and daughters, in our partners. You shall born with your father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The second thing is why is it important to tell you? It is because when you come from the Father, you come not the same. You will never come back the same. The moment you meet your Father, you won't come back the same. On Exodus 34. Verse number 35. Read the first. You will not come back the same. If you are with the Father. Say Amen. Hallelujah. Say Amen. Praise God. Read. Thirty-five. They saw that his face was radiant. You will come with your face shining. Then Moses would put the veil back over his face. People will see the glory shining. We are no longer seeing the glory of Evangelist Kessie now. Why? People don't meet the Father. When Moses was there, when he came back, his face was shining. His face Busobake. was shining. Babu what makes you not to be like other people? It is the glory shining in you. Believers of today are not different from other people. They don't shine the glory on their faces. But today we shall shine. The Bible says when he came back they saw they saw they were not told they saw they were not pointed that this man is coming from the mountain they saw the face that this person was not with us they saw La 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 la. La 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 la. Listen. La 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 la. Listen. Uso yenda be. You will go up the mountain. And when you come back, abanye ba uzeku. Sam. Why? 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 You will be shining. Uza ukasimu. Aba shine na yaba pe. Those who are shining, no one will see them on their face. Agaku falu ba chonge pswini. When you walk. Demons will bow. People who are demon possessed. Witches. Won't look your face. Why? The glory. Will be shining. 
You don't have to fight by yourself. Some other battles, they don't need you. But the glory will chase away those who are against you. That is why you must know why people fight you. There are people who fight what God has given you. Those people they don't need you. They need the glory of God to blow them away. The glory has got power to cover you and to keep you in the purpose. The anointing can make you to have pride but the glory will keep you in dignity and in the purpose. The glory will keep you covered. And there are people when they look you, they won't look you. But the anointing can pull people who are to kill you. But the glory will chase away people and select those who are in the purpose. Concerning God about your life. In life, there are two things difficult. To select the glory and the anointing. Hmm. Both of them are important. But. People who meet God. They receive the glory. Hallelujah. When you meet God, you see the glory. Why? He dwells there in the glory. His servants, his people, they are anointed to bring them closer into the glorious house. In other words, the moment you dwell in the presence, the moment you meet with God, God will cover you with the glory you will pass the level of anointing and enter in the glory. Oh, this is the Holy Spirit. Oh, sis. There is a song that says, I want to see him in his glory. It says, I want to see him in his glory. Enkaze, <speaking> in <Spanish> <speaking in Spanish> 